Hello everybody, my name is Calvin and welcome back to Universe Sandbox. You guys gave me a ton more suggestions of things to try, so we're going to be going through some of them today. All right, Cube Man says, what if every rock planet was a gas giant and every gas giant was a rock planet? That would be cool. What we're going to do is just add a bunch of hydrogen to the rocky planets until they turn into gas giants and we can see what they're going to look like. So if we go into composition, we can just turn up the hydrogen and we might have to add more mass because you can see it's losing mass. You can see all this stuff shooting out. So we're gonna have to add mass until that stops about there. Okay, so there's Mercury as a gas giant. And now let's go to Venus. Venus already kind of looks like a gas giant because of its super thick atmosphere. But let's add hydrogen. Okay, there we go now. Oh, you can see because Venus is super hot. Um, it already has heat on it. Uh, let's add some mass to this too. There we go. Okay, Venus as a gas giant. Now we go to Earth, and this is where we live, so I'm interested to see what's going to happen here. So if we just covered the entire globe with hydrogen, what happens? Uh, looks like not much. Does it not even shoot stuff out? It doesn't look like it. It looks like Earth is good like that. Um, and then the last of the rocky planets, Mars here. And we are going to make Mars a gas giant. Ooh, that one looks cool. This one's shooting out stuff, so let's add some mass to it. Okay, perfect. Okay, so that's all of the rocky planets as gas giants. So now we need to take the gas giants and turn them into rocky planets. So here's Jupiter, and um, let's just, instead of having it be 98% hydrogen, let's add a little bit of silicate and some iron, some more silicate, just until this is not a gas giant anymore. And there we go. Um, so it looks like it just goes to a blank um, surface. So let's actually add a surface on it. We'll just put a random planet. For the base color, let's just go by elevation. And we'll do, we can change our colors on here so we can kind of make it how we want it. Something like that. That looks cool. Okay, so there's Jupiter as a rocky planet instead of a gas giant. Um, and now I'm excited for Saturn because Saturn has rings. So we're gonna be able to see what a rocky planet with rings would look like. Okay, so here's Saturn. You can see it's got some rings. So we're gonna do the same thing here. I wonder if the rings are gonna be affected. It shouldn't because the mass is gonna stay mostly the same. And there it goes. Ooh, it looks like it generated an atmosphere on it already. Oh, look at these rings. They like stayed the correct distance too. Um, and let's do some visual stuff. What if we add some water to Saturn? Ooh, okay, that's looking good. Okay, now we got Saturn here as a rocky planet and not a gas giant. Okay, next is Uranus. And we're just gonna do the same thing here. It looks like Uranus is mostly water, so we could keep it like a water world. So that's all frozen now. So it's like an ice planet now. And you can see it does orbit sideways. Let's add its rings. So there's Uranus and its rings as a rocky planet. All right, and here's Neptune, the last planet. We are gonna do Pluto though, because we love Pluto. So Pl uh, Neptune's another ice giant. So let's take away the hydrogen and what do we get? We get a planet that looks kind of like this. All right, so now every single planet has been swapped. So all the rocky planets turned into gas giants and all the gas giants turned into rocky planets. And let's also make Pluto a gas giant because we love Pluto. Go and add some hydrogen to it. And that looks pretty nice. Um, is it shooting off stuff? It looks pretty good. Um, yeah. Okay, so there's Pluto as a gas giant now. So now if we go to chart, okay, so this is ordered by mass, but you can see here now. So we got the sun and then this is gonna be Jupiter and Saturn with its giant rings coming out here. And then Venus is actually next. I guess we added a lot of mass to Venus. And then Neptune and Uranus are pretty similar, both ice planets. Mars is out here, then Mars is bigger than Earth, that's funny, Earth, then Mercury, and then we got Pluto's right here. And then all the other stuff in the system. All right, there we go. All right, we got a suggestion from Spencer. He says, place another sun at about the orbit of Pluto as a binary system and see what happens. So he wants a, another sun to be added about the same distance as Pluto is. So let's put, um, so you can see Pluto's right here. So let's put the sun right here and we're gonna see what happens. We got another sun now in the system going around. Um, you can see Pluto just slingshotted out. Oh, Neptune's getting completely pulled back and kind of gets slingshot. Pluto did again. Look, the entire solar system is getting pulled. 
So it looks like this is like the main system and they're like getting pulled around each other now, Jupiter. So it, it does destroy the, the solar system. So hopefully this doesn't happen. So Jupiter is in like a very elliptical orbit now around the sun. Saturn and Eris are coming. I wonder if anything's gonna actually get sucked into it. Saturn's uh, looks like it might have just been launched. Okay, so this is like the main system. Let's see Earth. Okay, Earth's right here. So it looks like all these inner planets seem to be pretty okay because the sun's gravity is strong enough on them, but anything past like the asteroid belt is kind of getting destroyed. Um, but we'd be okay. All right, Flame Twister from my Discord says, throw moons of planets at Earth. There are a lot of different moons in the solar system. Um, some of my favorites are like some of Jupiter's moons. Like we get, you know, Europa, Ganymede, Callisto, and Io. So let's throw Ganymede at Earth and see what's gonna happen. Let's aim straight for Europe. Okay, so here's Ganymede. Um, if you look at the size comparison, Ganymede is not a small moon. Like, that's pretty large. Let's see what happens here. Here it comes. And boom. Completely obliterates the Earth. Everyone would have died pretty much instantly. It's like maybe you survive a couple minutes while the shockwave travels around. The temperatures on the surface are getting up to 7,000 Celsius about. Um, but they are rapidly cooling down. So let's see if Earth survives from this. Speed up time and we'll check it now. So it looks like we have completely new continents and larger oceans. So it looks like we have like a new super continent, like Pangaea type here. And then the rest of the world is just water. Oh, and Antarctica gets its own little continent too. But Earth technically did survive. And now let's throw, let's throw something smaller like Deimos. So Deimos is one of Mars's moons, so I'm interested to see um, how this works. Oh, we're going pretty fast. It looks like nothing happened. Let's do it again, but slower. Ooh, you can see it, sended, it sent a shockwave around a good chunk of the globe, um, so it wouldn't be good, but... Oh, did the rest of our continent get covered in water? It looks like it, so this is the only land we have left. Um, let's throw Enceladus at it. So Enceladus is one of Saturn's moons. Boom. Okay, that one wasn't nearly as bad as some of the other ones, but you can see it punched some holes in the atmosphere, like here and here. But Earth looks mostly okay. All right, we got this suggestion from my Discord server saying make the Milky Way as small as Mercury. We're gonna try. So let's put the Milky Way in here. All right, so here's the Milky Way. I wonder what happens if we just try to turn it down. Can we, it looks like there's not a density uh, slider. Oh, look, if you change the mass, it changes the amount of stars in it. And then if you change the radius, it changes how close the stars are together. So we want to change it to moon radius because Mercury and the moon are pretty similar in size. So let's just turn it down and see what happens. Keep going. Oh, something shooting out of it. Oh, OK, OK. Um, it looks like we are breaking um, the galaxy. <laughs> it won't let me. Oh, it does let me turn it down more. Whoa, okay, so it looks like just a black hole with a bunch of uh, stuff around it now. It's not letting me go down in radius, so maybe mass start to go down. And it disappeared. It's gone. Um, so it doesn't work. We tried though. All right, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have suggestions for things you want to see in Universe Sandbox, leave them down in the comments or join my Discord server. I'm more likely to see it on the Discord server. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on it. It means a ton and I'll see you guys next time.